I love these designs. The art direction in space, we've really tried to go off of these expected conventions of how living in space might be. God, that looks great. We did a lot of research about space-related subject matter. We keep gravitating to Tomorrowland because it was appealing. It was attractive to what the future would right. be, and you hoped it would be right. like that. The floating car and the video phone and the jetpack, and I want that where's my jetpack feel. Wow. <laughs> That's great. That looks awesome. Got all this cool technology in it, and we wanted everything holographic, because holographs are cool. All it is is lit up squares, and you just go, boop. It wasn't about what the future is going to be like. It's what the future could be like. Let's definitely go with that. I love that idea. OK. There was a definite goal that I wanted to achieve with Wally from a look standpoint. I just wanted you to believe that this world you were watching was really there. Ten seconds to self-destruct. Early on, we were thinking, if we could bring in a DP and just hear about how they really go about working in the real world, who would it be? And we came up with a short list. Roger Deakins was at the top. He, this past year, did the photography for the assassination of Jesse James in the Valley of Ela and No Country for Old Men. Mm -hmm. we, could, we could arc around. So we're going to delay the start of the pan our next frame start bringing the arm back in. I think Andrew was wanting to bring live action techniques to the animated world to give it a sort of a, maybe a greater sense of reality. My fear is that you're never going to read his eyes. Can we do a, a bit of a camera just? We really wanted to give the camera a bit of a weightless feel just to make the audience feel like there is some guy holding a camera floating in space. Wally. Okay now what we're going to do. Lighting space has been very interesting um, when we're outside the spaceship because usually in space you can't see a lot of what's going on. Can you bring that up on, on the character and not the background? It took a lot more finesse to try and find a nice look for things. The last thing we wanted to do was sort of overlight things and not have it look like it was in space anymore. I look at this and go, that's, that's a look you want. I think that looks great. That's quite a revelation, really. It's not like anything one's seen before, really. Part of the vision for the film was something different, and that's always really exciting to be a part of. One of the biggest surprises has been how exciting it is to work on something this outside the box.